Fleer just sent me this Fleer One Edge Pro, a wireless thermal imaging camera to use on our car view channel, the straight pipes. We're gonna show heated steering wheels, heated seats, see what gets heated, how hot it gets, maybe some stuff under the hood. This costs $4.99 US or $6.49 Canadian, has a resolution of 160 by 120 pixels, which is small, but it's a thermal imaging camera, so whatever, and it can do video. And then it has a FLIR MSX and Vivid IR mode, which lets you see exactly what you're scanning it, I guess overlays it and stuff like that. It's wireless and it'll run for two and a half hours on the battery and it is drop tested to two meters. And then it'll uh, show a reading of something that you're looking at and then the coldest and then the hottest, I believe. And then it'll go from minus 20 to 120 degrees Celsius or zero degrees Celsius to 400 degrees Celsius. So uh, let's unbox this, open it up, test it out and see how well it works and how well it'll work in our car view channel. All right, nice box, just like an iPhone. So I'll probably never ever throw it away. And here it is. Uh, looks pretty, pretty lightweight. We got our power instructions. Let's see. Here's the guy who runs it, I guess. Notice, please read and take note. I did watch some other YouTube videos on how to get it kind of going. So I think what we're going to do is just power it on and then get the app going on our iPhone, which is the FLIR One app and see if we can get it all working. We will identify hidden problems, troubleshoot efficiency, uh, accept, next. Oh, wait, what was that? Only for Pro Series. Use the new performance mode for a more responsive camera and quality mode for best image quality. Nice. Well, we've got the Pro one, so that's good. And then inspection guides, identify issues, getting started. Oh, so that's pretty cool. Okay, we have the FLIR One Edge. Connect, join. So far, this is incredibly seamless. Oh, wow, it's already working. No way, oh, look at my face. Hey, oh, my glasses are blocking some of the the heat from my face, that's cool. And then let's, oh, this is to adjust it, to match it up perfect. Wow, can you guys see that all right? Or should I be screen recording? All right, so now I'm screen recording. Is the camera alignment, that's, that's perfect, okay. And then we can, all right, my sunglasses are uh, 23rd, my, my son. A little bit of lag, that makes it a little tricky. Okay, my glasses are 23 degrees and my skin is 31. All right, okay, so let's we'll see if we can record a video. Access the microphone. Hey, 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 it's Yuri's face. Does this record audio or just video? Let's turn it to the outside window. Oh, looks like there's air getting in right here. Very cool. All right, and then this button here is to align it. What does this do? Quality mode or performance mode? Oh, nice. Here's our gallery. Let's see what that video looks like. Hey, 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 it's Yuri's face. Does this record audio or just video? Okay, so it's recording from the phone. Low frame rate, but that's okay. We can fix that with some topaz. Access to the microphone. Hey, 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 it's Yuri's face. Does this record audio or just video? Let's turn it to the outside window. Oh, looks like there's air getting in right here. Very cool. Uh, not logged in. We don't really need to use our cloud storage uh, settings. Let's see, units, Celsius, cool. Temperature range, uh, I guess this makes sense because it is zero degrees outside. Emissivity, what does this mean? Is a measure of how efficient an object radiates heat. Choose what best resembles the material qualities of the object that you're observing. Oh, okay, so if it's matter glossy. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't realize that that can affect how something records. Save GPS location, I don't think we need that, but whatever. 
So there is a, I believe there's a mode for mode, okay. Multi-spectral dynamic imaging. Oh, my face isn't lined up. No, just infrared, whoa. And the digital camera, okay, so it combines them together. That's cool. Uh, mode. You guys catching all this? Um, color. Oh. We can do different styles of infrared. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Red is hot. Black and white. Red is the hot spots. All right, reconnecting it back from whoever answered my door. Let's see, what, like five seconds or something? Seven seconds, maybe eight seconds, not that bad. I'll take it. Okay, so, oh, whoa, can I, I can see into my phone? Nice, okay, I poured a coffee. Black and white is hard to measure, so let's change the color to contrast, coldest, Arctic, lava. What's the normal one? Iron, okay. I think that's the one we like the most. So that's 57 degrees. Top of the cup is 27 degrees. And you can see that you can see there's the little picture of the rabbit there. But then if we change our mode to just that. Oh, that's pretty sweet. That's pretty sweet, man. All right, next thing, there is a, what is it? It was a vivid mode and a, so there's a FLIR MSX and a vivid IR mode. Let's find out the differences between those two and if we could see how to do that. Okay, I guess the alignment gets out of whack pretty easily or depending on the angle of the camera. Yeah, I think now it's time we go uh, turn on the heated seat, turn on the heated steering wheel in my car and see how long it takes to actually show that. And then you can also like, clip it on like this, this extends. So I can walk around with it like this and look at, you know, the windows. I can see my... Think like that. Perfectly lined up with the rabbit. Okay, there's hot air coming from my vents, so let's just see what that looks like too. Nice. And the hottest that's coming out is 39 degrees out of there. And like this wall is 40. Oh, you could see the insulation. Oh, this is gonna show me all kinds of bad stuff in my house, isn't it? Are my toes cold? Dude, my toes are freezing compared to the rest of my foot. So I'm just going to tape this with some gaff tape and throw that up in the car. And we're gonna see how long it takes to heat up the heated steering wheel and what it looks like and what part gets heated. I guess we'll keep that measurement thing there. Measurements, let's put both. Let's record and let's start the car and see what happens. Looks like it maxes out at 37 and a half degrees. Nice, good job. Uh, and I guess it took, I don't know, almost three minutes to get there. Now let's set this bad boy up on the seats and see how the heated seat pattern looks like. And let's press the button. 
There. But uh, yeah, no, very, very cool to see what it actually looks like. I wonder under the hood what it looks like too. Let's go check that out. And right now we can look in our engine bay, see what's getting hot. Our coolant. Our cold air intake. Battery terminals. This is awesome. I don't know why I would need it for my car yet, but um, heck yeah. Let's see what it looks like if I turn the overlays off. Uh, pretty cool. Let's look under the car with this mode. I'll just unclip it. Muffler is hot. Exhaust pipe is hot. Catalytic converter is hot. Heck yeah. All right, and the last thing I want to do is test out my kids' room because I feel like this room always was the most difficult to get warm or cold. Does this mean a lot of heat is leaving through the ceiling? I guess I need a proper tech or someone to tell me. There, let's line that up nice and close. And then I always wanted to know if this thing is really going to push in the air forward or not. So what if I put this here? Does it change the direction of the air? I guess we can't really see it flowing out. As we can see, the, the floor getting warmer that way. And uh, here I can see the hot water going all the way up to the bathroom. Very cool. Uh, here's a vent. Here you can see my heated toilet seat bidet. Yeah, how sick is that? <laughs> what other cool stuff can we look at? Cold water. Hot water. Back to cold. That's cool, that's cool. All right, so overall, this is awesome. Absolutely love it, super easy to connect, super easy to use. Um, it definitely shows a lot in your house. You can see your studs, you can see your hot water, you can see so much stuff. For the car reviews, I think it's gonna be great just to see how hot steering wheels get and like what part actually gets heated and not. So uh, Shadow Fleer, thanks for sending this. I'm excited to use it in some Straight Pipes car reviews. Subscribe to that channel. If you want to see car reviews, which you should, because car reviews are the best.